these tactics have never been defeated. So they're always there to be pulled out and played out again. Um, and, and we see that the other side is fully aware of what moment we're in. So the Heritage Foundation, held a convening a couple of weeks ago called Seizing the Moment to Defeat DEI. Um, for them, DEI is a cancer. Uh, they want to excise it through attacks on higher education and DEI professionals. And what they mean when they say DEI, let's be clear, is really all social progress, the entire infrastructure that was created from 1964 and on. Concretely, I mean, just to be clear about it, um, they've got this project called Project uh, 2025, the Heritage Foundation. Mm -hmm. And what they want to do is prevent the Equal Employment Opportunity Commission from collecting any data on race and ethnicity. If you don't have data, you can't really prove structural racism. And on top of that, they want to eliminate the ability to even use the law to make a claim of discrimination through disparate impact. And for some, they want to entirely eliminate protections from employees uh, for discrimination based on sexual orientation and gender identity. In fact, they want to expunge very terms like gender equality, DEI, abortion, reproductive rights from every federal rule, every regulation, every contract, every grant. This is a revolution. And just to make sure that they can make it happen, they wanna fire thousands of federal employees in the civil service and replace them with loyalists. Now, I don't know if how many people were reading the news today, but what the GOP has now done is they, they fired everyone and you can only get rehired if you go through an interview in which they ask you if you believe the lie that the election was stolen. So this is, it. Th People were on the edge of, you know, serious authoritarianism, um, dare I say fascism. And it's coming through our Achilles heel, uh, which is racism.